Hello, this is Chad Like One, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change toggleable cameras like Gears of War and First Person Shooter in CryEngine 3 by using only FlowGraph. This is a very special way I'm going to show you, so I'm going to give you a preview of what it's going to look like here. Basically, I mean, that's just my little message as a test if it works. This is the first person. If I hit Q, I'll be able to change into this view. And if I hit E, I'll be able to change back into first person. Pretty cool, huh? So, yes. I will definitely show you how to do this. I'll give you a quick view of my flow graph here. So, this is my flow graph. Basically, kind of a layout here. I'll definitely go into detail here, here about this in just a moment. But first, I want to go over detail about wh how and why I got these figured out here. So, let's go ahead and start a new scene here real quick. We'll go just 1024. 10, something simple. Tester. It's actually, I looked into the script in particular as well for the game CVAR, but we'll get in detail here in just a moment. I just want to get this started up here real quick so you can definitely see for yourself. So let's go ahead and make a simple terrain here. Let's go ahead and flatten. Go to the inside radius. Hardness 1. I'll make the high like 77 feet. Something simple. So we're just doing testing, that's all that matters. So that's taken care of. So let us begin to get this taken care of. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up Visual Studio 2010. As a matter of fact, I'll just have to go to the actual source file. So if you actually get CryEngine 3, um, there actually is a code folder where you actually script to do it for you actually doing scripting, of course. And you got to go into the solution. I'm going to show you where you can actually find the uh, the actual file here. So you're going to see something like this. It's in Crygan. That's where you're supposed to script into it. But if you actually look into the game files, you can um, go all the way to gamecvars.cpp, which cpp means C++, if you didn't know. And you scroll all the way down here. There's a bunch of uh, register cvars and a bunch of, let's see here, we're going to look up to, for the console settings. We want console settings with console commands here. So we're going to look for a specific one and how I found this in particular is more with documentation and a bunch of forum stuff. So you're going to notice these ones right here, which is G underscore TPVU underscore enable. Which basically what that means is like G particularly means, I'll show you here in a minute, like this is a documentation here. G basically means game. I mean, that's just kind of like the prefix of it, but uh, that's basically what it is. So basically TPVU means third person view and enable. And I'll show you how to actually get that working here in a minute. And to a gawk means um, Gears of Crisis. Basically, it's like a, you know, like a Gears of War perspective view from the camera. And that's basically what he could do. And also, you actually edit the X, Y, and Z of the camera. Meaning, what he could do with that is adjust. Say, if your camera is like, oh, it's too far to the left, too far to the right, or too far away, too too far up. You can adjust all those axes of that camera. So let's go ahead. And I'm um, going to put this aside here real quick. And I'm going to show you how you do it in the flow graph. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to view, open view pane, and go to flow graph. And what we are going to do, we're going to create a new flow graph. And we are going to do this. We're going to go to start. Because you want this to actually begin at the start of the game. And then there's this new thing called, let's take a look here. I think it's under system. Yes, it's called execute string. Basically, what we want to execute is these strings that we see here, the G underscore TP view enable. Basically, we want to be able to toggle this on and off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you what it does before we go any further. So let's go ahead and do the console command here. Oh, man, that's already actually began already on it. So I'm going to have to unopen this flow graph here quick. I want to do that real quick. Get rid of that. Let's go ahead and disable. There we go. So, I'm going to make sure that works now. Yep, there we go. So, basically, if you write, type in g underscore tp view enable, and you got to put equals one. That's what enables the tp view. You put that in, boom. You got our third person view. And that's how you do it. And you also do the same thing with the Gawk underscore enable equals one. 
matter of fact, equals zero, and put it back to the original view. For some reason, it's because they actually typed in the command prompt when you first start the game, and it automatically loads it that way. So, yeah. So we go off to basically do the same thing. Do g underscore tp view underscore enable equals zero. Go back to first person view. For some reason, I'm aiming. I don't know why. I was just kind of doing it though. Now, kind of see the gist of what we're trying to get to do here. Basically, in the flow graph, we're able to trigger it on keys of how to make them enable and disable. So, let's go ahead and try to get this taken care of. If I could find my flow graph here, quick. So, flow graph. So, let's go ahead, go back to my default. So, start. And what at the start, we want to execute a string. What string do we want to execute? We want to execute, um, if you want the Gears of War view, this is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to type in gawk underscore enable equals 1. And that will enable your Gears of War view every time you start the game. As for enabling the uh, the um, other views to come from first to third, this is what you're going to have to do. So basically you're going to go to add node, and we're going to go to key, if I could find it. Input, my bad. The input. Come on, bud. And then key. I mean, you can use any sort of view. You can use, um, let's see here. If you wanted to use a key, you could actually use, um, like a mouse wheel or anything sort of thing like that. But, um, easily use a mouse key just for this sort of tutorial. Let's kind of give you a gist of how this is going to work. So, at the start of the game, we want this to be enabled. And what we're going to have to do with this key, what key we're going to press to make this work. So, we're going to start with Q. We're going to use Q. And what's going to happen when you push Q? We're going to do, we're going to go to add node, we're going to go to system, and we're going to go to execute a string. So, we're going to execute the string to say, when it's pressed, we're going to have it say, g underscore tp view underscore enable equals 1. Equals 1 means always to enable it, always to turn it as true. And then, as if we uh, put another input key, so let's go ahead and try to do that now. Go to input key. We're going to have it be E. Bink. And then what we're going to do when we press E, we're going to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is actually copy and paste this. So I'll have to go through the actual um, right clicking thing to add notes. So we're going to control C, V, and GP view enable, and we just want to put equals zero. Boom. That'll make it the false. So let's go ahead and enable it as well from the start. It also will not work. So, let's go see if this works. Control G. Q. And it actually works. Then E. And it actually works as well. So, for example, if you're in third person view, and you see this here, this is the gawk enable. And you, for example, you say, you know, man, this is just too far to the right. I want to make it more far to the left. Well, you sure can do that. Because there's this variable here in the script here that says gawk underscore target x. You can actually change the variables to that. I'm trying to remember what the default variable is. I think the default variable was point, it's like a zero point five. It's a float variable, but that's why I have to put 0.5f in it. So I'm going to show you how this is going to work. I'm actually going to show you in-game how this is going to work. So, we're going to type in got underscore target x equals 2.0f. It changes it to, it makes it a little bit far to the right. Well, not right, left. i got to get my L's and freaking R's right correct, though. But yeah, it freaking works. I don't know, that's quite amazing. So if you want to put it back to normal, I think it was gawk underscore target x equals 0.5f. Uh, I think it's 1. Gawk underscore target x equals 1.0f. Yeah, that's about right. So yeah, so that's how you do it. Well, particularly, we're going to actually want, we want this to start off every time you start the script. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back into our flow graph. Flow graph. And then I'm going to actually go to my default one that we just created. So from the start, we're going to actually copy this real quick. Control Z, Control V. You know, a simple way of doing this is going to add node and then going away to the uh, system and all that jazz. You know, it's just a simple way of doing it. Because all you do is rewrite what's been said. So, so let's go ahead right from the start of the game. We're going to change this variable to going to got underscore. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had a long day. Got underscore target x equals 2.0f. Boom. Right from the start. So let's go see if this works. Control G. Right from the start, it's all the way to the left side. But it's really far to the left, but I mean, I just wanted to show this as an example. 
I mean, I hope this tutorial really helped. I mean, because I've seen a lot of people having trouble with camera views. I mean, I've seen, I mean, there's Richmar, number one Richmar. He's a cool guy, I and mean, he has a lot of cool videos. I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to show something a little bit simpler that I could do in Flowgraph. So, like, oh, I need to script stuff. I mean, I don't know how to do it because of C++. I mean, it is difficult, but it's not so difficult. I mean, there's something you can just look into, like, hey, I just want to kind of play around with it in the flow graph, make things work, you know, counter command, stuff like that, and it works. I mean, yeah, there's also the dock mode, there's also that, but, I mean, the only thing I don't like about it, I'll show you here in a moment. If you put in dock mode, when you aim, it's all like slow motion. But it's kind of cool, but I don't know, I don't want to have it all the time, though. That's why I always do, that's why I did the method you might be did today. But anyways, I hope you enjoy my video. I mean, subscribe if you want, and I'll be posting much more videos here in the future. Thank you for watching.